Guys, today I got another stupid idea, and it was to pour water on a speaker. So let's see. And oh my god, that looks like it shouldn't be a thing. Now, I don't have any device to play music, so I just have to like press the audio cable like this. Oh my god, that looks cool. All of them, like all the water is not spitting out. Okay, suddenly not. Okay, there we go. The all the water is not spitting out. I thought everything would just go like kaboom and everywhere there's gonna be water, but no. I think it's actually going through the dust cap. Oh yeah, it is definitely going through the dust cap. I did not have glue, so I used paper glue, and it was a bad idea. Okay, so dust cap still there. Hang on, the dust cap still okay. It's making this weird noise. No, okay. What about the bottom? Can't see down there. Nothing down there. That's interesting. Let's pour a little bit more water. Hopefully it doesn't end up like this. Guys, I got even luckier and got pretty much into the economics like so pour a like kind of water and play music. Why is the water disappearing? Okay. Let's still see. Sorry guys, I didn't notice. If you're wondering why the audio was bad, it's because well, I accidentally dropped my mic and didn't notice. So let's play music. This forking social guy just copyrighted me. Oh my! Did it just burst off? Oh my god, look at this water. Why is the water so phased out? That's weird. Oh my god, check this out! Okay, so... Alright, alright. Shut it down, shut it down. Why... Okay, is this giving me a shock? This doesn't give me a shock. Okay, I have no idea what's happening right now, but why is the water so fizzed? I think I ha I know the explanation. I remember one time I was doing an experiment with the same speaker and I poured oil in it. And yeah, I think it's that oil that's also coming out of the water, so the water is not supposed to be fizzed. It's just because of the oil. Yes, okay. Yes. Turn a base. POV, you are an R POV, you are an car audio guy. <laughs> well, that was a meme that I just put in for no reason. And look at this. Why does it look so energetic? I don't think this is supposed to happen if it's mixed with oil. Yeah, I need to replace my dust cap, but whatever. Okay, so um, you can probably tell it went well and it went wrong. So I have to fix it. Guys, my table is a mess. I tried to pour it out. I mean, I tried to pour it out and 
this is how much water that came out of it. Actually, I'm gonna pay you back and put all of your water back. Now, let's play a bit of music. Okay, now the phone is... My mom's phone is glitching out. It barely, like, works now. I cannot hear anything. Okay, yeah. Okay, now the thing is, this speaker is a big basket and a lot of space underneath the spider. So, um, it can store a lot of water. While this one has very little space. But both of them are a micro lab speaker. I got this from the M223 and I got this from the M100. But I remember I bought an 8 inch woofer and I was, I got so sassy that I just tore the woofer apart. Like, I don't know, I just felt way too cocky then. But now I kind of regret tearing that woofer. God, this looks so cool. I'm gonna turn up the max volume. Oh yes, we can turn it. Let's test it. Let's make some hot chest. Okay, I should have noticed the water on the table. It's also vibrating. But anyway, somehow this survived. Now, I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm gonna put my mic in there. Here we go. My mic is completely wet. Did you tell me about this black? On my colorful wall. This feels like a tweeter. Like the mic is like a tweeter. Let's test it. I should not destroy my mic. Okay, that's it for this video. I mean, this is how far I got. Like, I remember another speaker. The tinsel leaves like tore off, like then it just refused to turn on, and I had to like push it down a bit. But this one survived. Alright guys, so I don't know if my mic is destroyed, but I hope you guys can hear me. Anyway, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys later.